स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी हैव टू परफॉर्म द मशीनिंग ऑपरेशन ऑन दिस सेंटर लेथ फॉर दिस वी आर प्रोवाइडेड विद द ड्राइंग द रॉ मटेरियल एंड द टूल्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दैट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द मशीनिंग ऑपरेशन वी मस्ट नो द मूवमेंट्स ऑफ वेरियस कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ दिस मशीन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेटस फोकस अपॉन द कैरेज द कैरेज इज जस्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द ऑपरेटर राइट देर आर टू मेजर व्हील्स वी कैन विजुअलाइज वेन वी रोटेट द कैरेज व्हील क्लॉकवाइज इट मूव द होल कैरेज मूव राइट वर्ड when we rotate in anti clockwise direction the whole carriage moves leftward right now let us see the movement of the cross slide this is another wheel if you rotate it clockwise the cross slide will move forward away from the operator when we rotate it anti clockwise it comes nearer to the operator that means if you want to increase the cutting diameter we have to rotate it anti clockwise and if you want to decrease the diameter we have to make it forward by rotating the in the clockwise direction now at the top of the carriage there is a compound rest and on the compound rest also there is a lever if you rotate it clockwise the movement is leftward when it we rotate it anti clockwise the movement is rightward so these are the three major movement with this movement we can set the position of the cutting tool as per our requirement now one important the most important operation is the holding of the tool that will be shown before we start the machining process now let us know how to start the machine there is a switch forward reverse switch which when we operate it leftward the chuck rotates in this clockwise direction you can see it now if you put it in the opposite direction the direction of the chuck reverses and when it we put the lever at neutral position it will be stopped that means there is no breaking arrangement in this machine it is being controlled by the reverse forward switch only right now to operate this machine we have to fix up the revolution of the chuck that is set by the levers provided on this lathe now you see the lever is operated the belts are free and we can change it to different pulleys and as per our requirement the revolution permit of the chuck will be set normally in this machine we are getting approximately 375 revolution per minute and we can reduce it using the belt pulley arrangement right now we will start the operation and before that one more thing i would like to explain over the motion is that the carriage can be moved automatically also for that first of all we will start the lathe automatic movement of the carriage when the carriage lever is actuated the carriage now moves automatically right way direction without manually rotating the carriage pulley okay that's all now let us proceed for the machining operation student now we are going to start the machining operation for that first of all you ensure that the machine is not in running condition it is in switched off condition and then afterward you use the chuck key to expand the jaws as per the requirement afterward then you insert the raw material inside the jaws and clamp it very rigidly using your chuck key now this way it is rigidly clamped and because 
this chuck has got three jaws and it is also known as self centering chuck that means if any cylindrical raw material is there it will be automatically clamped in its axial position now student we are adjusting the cutting tool which is of high speed steel clamped here in the tool post the center point of this tool should be almost nearer to the center point of this uh, spindle because if you make it centered over here it will be automatically centered over here also if you don't make it centered some portion will be left and machine so this is the checkpoint that is done student now we are bringing the tool post with the help of the carriage wheel nearer to the job and with the help of the carriage wheel as well as the cross slide wheel uh, mr jit singh is adjusting the tool cutting point to the edge of the job and after this adjustment we will start the machining it is clamped properly now and you see how machining is being performed first of all we will be doing facing operation means this front face of the job will be made perpendicular to the axis of the job this is called facing operation in this case we are moving the cross slide such a way that only it is removing the face extra material now we have done this fa facing operation completed it is just to clean the surface and to make the surface vertical and now we will operate uh, perform the straight running operation as per the drawing for the straight running operation we will be manipulating in such a way the tip of the tool touches the outer surface of the job and the movement will be given in the lengthwise direction you can see it with the help of the carriage wheel you can see sir is operating this carriage wheel and the carriage is moving towards the job tool is moving towards the job and this surface is getting cleaned and the diameter is getting reduced in the first attempt we are reducing approximately 0.5 mm diameter to reduce it to sufficient size we will have to make many trials uh, we have completed this straight turning you can see it over here and it is as per the dimension required it is 18 mm over here right and 35 mm this much it is finished now this part is finished except this chamfering now we have to do this grooving operation for this grooving operation we have to further reduce the size of this diameter which is 18 mm to create this grooving groove we have to change the tool also now this tool is going to be changed by the grooving tool we have changed the grooving tool over here right you can see it is a shape is rectangular one this shape is rectangular may not be very clearly visible but we will show you later on this rectangular shape tool is being fitted over here and now we manipulate it to bring it nearer to this part now we are using this wheel for the cross slide to increase the depth of cut so that the groove is generated as per our drawing we are going for the third operation which is which is the taper turning operation right taper turning means it is a custom shape geometry for this we have to do two activity number one again we have to use the single point cutting tool this one as for straight turning removing this uh, grooving tool and we have to create this angle with the longitudinal axis 
for that there is a formula that depends upon this angle depends upon the diameter of this bigger size smaller size and length in this case it is coming around 5.7 degree we rotate this compound rest through 5.7 degree please adjust the degree the students now you see we have changed the orientation of the compound rest as per our requirement which is 5.7 degree for the taper turning operation and using the lever now we move the tool forward for generating the required profile now you can see the tool is moving with certain inclination after the completion of the taper turning we will again have to generate this groove for this we are this groove for this we are changing the tool for grooving purpose as we have done for the previous groove the same tool same size only thing the dimension of the job is different now sir is uh, starting the grooving operation now the last operation here is uh, the knurling operation that is for gripping purpose you can see over here in this drawing this portion is knurled means gripping is provided over here with the help of knurling tool right for this knurling operation we have to reduce the shaft diameter further so jisin sir is again starting the machine to step down for generating this diameter 22 now we are using a very special tool for this knurling operation and this tool has got two cylindrical hardened cylind uh, wheels they have got the cross marks in opposite direction to generate the knurling of diamond shape now sir start the knurling operation now we are going to perform this knurling operation for this we have already fixed the knurling tool which is of high carbon steel and uh, now we have adjusted just on the surface of the portion where we have to perform this knurling and now we will start the machine and gradually build up pressure on the tool so that particular type of depth on the periphery of the cylindrical portion is generated student uh, the last operation is chamfer this chamfering chamfering is nothing but uh, it is a taper turning of very short length it is again a taper turning of very short length this is provided just to avoid a contact of sharp edge to any mating component which will uh, which will which may create damage right and the second thing this chamfering also provides uh, smooth fitment also now just to provide this chamfer we have to set the angle of the tool post at 45 degree now sir please set it at 45 degree uh, now you see we are performing the chamfering operation for this again we have to use the lever of the compound rest as we have done in chamfering operation and it is very short operation it is done and the job is completely finished the job is over and we will take out the job from the chuck for this we must ensure that the machine is confirmed and stopped condition and the chuck the chuck will be open using the chuck key now the job will come out and these are the various operations we have performed and the job is finished